absolutely awesome car. And to tell you more about that, I would like to invite up on stage our um, Camaro chief engineer, Al Oppenheiser, to tell you a little bit more. Al, if you'd like to come up, here he is. All right, good morning. Is that beautiful or what? Come on. I'm very honored and excited to be here to represent the Camaro team and Chevrolet uh, to bring the convertible to you today. And uh, I was part of the dealer event last week, and to be honest with you, um, I went to basically learn what the other portfolio is in Chevrolet, because I really subscribe to Alan's passion about our portfolio. And frankly, the reason I went is because I live in Camaro land, and guys from the Camaro team here, is this not Camaro land today? We have our designers and our marketing folks here, and, and I think uh, Alan would want it that way. When we work on a product, we are so passionate. We have bought into find new roads, which means we're going to lead, not follow, and we're going to innovate. And six weeks ago when we were at Belle Isle, we, we made a commitment that we would take what worked in the fifth generation Camaro that made it the top selling sports car for five straight years. That's five straight years. And we we're not gonna lose any of that passion, any of that DNA when we went to the 6th gen. But we were going to innovate and we were going to lead and not follow. And a perfect example of that is the Camaro convertible that we're showing you here today. The uh, convertible is going to bring to, uh, to the marketplace a, a new game for, for this segment. It's a hard tunnel cover and uh, it, it cycles at speed. I'll talk about that and show you something in a second here. But when we committed to uh, keep the DNA of the fifth generation and the sixth generation, uh, the things that we, we um, kept were that feeling that you get behind the wheel. Um, and we were also able to start with an architecture that sheds 200 to 300 pounds from the fifth generation. And I know I'd be a lot faster if I dropped 200 pounds, so you know how that's going to handle uh, on the road. But uh, with regard to the convertible, we really wanted to up the game. The fifth generation convertible is a great car, great styling, but we wanted to go to the next level. And when we introduced the fifth gen, we met with many of you and we told you that our mantra was coupe like ride dynamics. Many times in a convertible, a manufacturer will have to compromise the performance of it for the cruising feel you get. And so the, they soften the dampers and so on. It becomes a boulevard cruiser. Well, this is a performance car, and we're not going to let up on that. The sixth generation does the same exact thing. We designed this convertible, art, convertible on the architecture from day one, which allowed us to develop the structure and the handling and the ride. Uh, at the same time, we developed this beautiful blue coupe behind me. And this is no compromise. It is going to have that same coupe-like ride dynamics as this blue coupe here. And, and why is that? Because people buy this car as a purchase of passion. They get home from a long day, they want to peel the car cover off and go rip up the mountains like the video show. And so for this, we really wanted to up the game in the styling, which you see the beautiful chiseled athletic look that really highlights the fact that we're starting from a lightweight architecture. And, and, and as I mentioned, our designers are here. They really did a great job capturing the feature lines. It's a very chiseled looking architecture, very chiseled looking exterior. Secondly, nobody in this segment has a top that cycles like this. It's a hard tonneau cover. And you'll see a video here how it operates. So four segment leading things about this, com this convertible are, first of all, it's a hard tonneau cover, so the finished look when the top is down is just, just beautiful. Uh, the second thing is, it cycles at speed. Nobody else cycles like we do in this segment at 30 miles an hour. So you don't have to pull under an overpass and get out, put your top up. You can just decide, hey, look, I want to be able to put the top down, just slow down to under 30, and it will cycle up or down, and you get this beautiful looking uh, top-down condition. The third thing is, uh, we also have it on the key fob where if you're looking out of your house or your office and you decide you want to drive home with the top down, we've got it activated through the key fob that allows you to put the top down and uh, as you see in the video here, so it's ready to go for you when you are. And fourth is, uh, I mentioned the hard tonneau cover, 
gives you a great finished look, um, one that is deserving of the person that buys this um, out of passion. So we're, we're very excited here. Um, we're going to introduce this after we launch the coop. Uh, this will arrive early in the 16 first quarter. And uh, you're going to see these tooling around town because we're very excited to show you today because now as you see these spy shots, we can pull the camel tape and vinyl off and let our engineers have some fun this summer. So again, I want to personally thank Alan for allowing me to come up here and share my passion for this car. The entire team that's here today, we live and breathe this. And when I say it's Camaro Land, that's our focus. And we want to make sure we, we know our customer. We know it very well. Otherwise, we wouldn't have led for five years straight. We intend on being the leader again. And, and I'll tell you what, with a top that works like this, uh, the folks down the street in Dearborn better be worried. So with that, it's my pleasure to bring up Mike Elbano, who's going to continue the show for you. Thank you very much. Thank you.